guys welcome back to the channel so guys as you can see it's just seven o'clock so this is a day when i've got minimal support in the house and i've just realized my hair i need to do it but guys i'm up um dressed um i'm recording with the community pharmacist for the podcast today so gonna make a lunch um do backpack and show you what my day looks like. There's a few extras that I've got to do um, that I'd normally do simply because it's Tuesday, like um, had a really, really simple workout because it's school holidays in our part of the world, it's term break. Um, there's a lot of little extras that she picked up on, like that my floor's never doing. I needed to just rest because my arm was getting sore because of the quilting. Um, we just didn't get time in the shift last night to mop. So it'll be those routine things as well. Um, and guys, we were at 100 subscribers. Absolutely amazing. Thank you and welcome as well. So guys, we are going to talk about what the pharmacist does, medication safety, and his journey towards being in DIS registered, um, what inspired that as well. And um, guys, full disclosure, this person is a colleague of mine. He has also used his skills for me for medication misadventures. And the big thing I want to talk also about is the difference between physiological dependence and addiction. Because I am physiologically dependent on my epilepsy medications. Um, if you took me off them, I would have symptoms of withdrawal. But I do not have the classic social symptoms of addiction as well. And guys... In Australia, we treat addiction very differently. We treat chronic pain very differently as well. Um, the TGA, a lot of people complain that it's got the tightest rules in the world. Um, TGA is Therapeutic Goods Administration, so we have a food safety uh, medication. They've been separated. Because, guys... There needs to be very different skill sets as well. So let's grab my lunchbox out. Start making a lunch as well as getting my hair presentable. Um, then there's a backpack that I use um, that's going to go back to one of my family members um, for one of her little daycare bag. I've got to go grab some washing that wasn't clean. Um, shut my door from that one, obviously, as well. And guys, come with me and spend a day with me as well. So, guys, I'm trying to de influence what we do in a day because when you're seeing the disability edge, educators and advocates and guys i'm not trying to personally go after the advocates but so many advocates particularly in my part of the world have never had to struggle um they're on the pension but they're living with mum and dad mum and dad have, have got good jobs so they're higher socioeconomic and um, when you say about education and training they're like a bit confused of why people and support workers need higher education and training they don't realize mum and dad may have stepped in behind the scenes to rescue them from certain situations um as well or might be quite naive to how the world works i know that's happened in my world as well i won't go into details but i'm grateful that I've had some very understanding bosses, colleagues and friends. So guys, come on today with me.